What's up guys, Zach Castigoon from the Grimdark Compendium and this time we're going to be talking about what's been going on in the Grimdark community, give you a little update of what's been going on with the website, talk some about the Grimdark Horse Heresy Challenge that I'm running this month, and then we're just going to talk about how popular the Grimdark painting style has become and what we can do to kind of push it even further, maybe get to that next level. All right, so what's been going on in the Grimdark community? Well, a, a lot really. So the Grimdark community is growing very rapidly right now. There's a lot of interest in the Grimdark painting style. Um, so there's a lot of new people coming in and there's also a lot of people that have been a part of the community before or part of the hobby and they're uh, coming back and seeing all this hype around the Grimdark painting style and it, it's more to their liking so they're jumping back in and choosing the dark side. So the community is doing really well and that has a lot to do with just how well you guys are doing as a community. So. Uh, you guys are putting out a lot of great art and uh, also a lot of great content. So there's a ton of new YouTubers, uh, people making tutorials, teaching people about the Grimdark style. And, uh, you know, a, lot, a few people have asked me if that kind of bothers me because, you know, in a lot of these videos we're teaching a lot of the basic stuff with, with like streaking grime and the reductive technique or just enamel washes and oil washes. Uh, people kind of ask me if that bothers me. Uh, no, it doesn't actually. I think that uh, I think that having more people creating this type of content and uh, tutorials for people to learn is only going to help the community uh, grow a lot more. So the more people we have doing that, and the better job they do, the more they're encouraged. Uh, the the it's it's just going to be much better for the community. We're going to see a lot more growth. Uh, so keep doing that. Keep making content and keep putting out the fantastic art that you guys have been putting out. And um, and we should see some uh, some more people just keep coming in. We'll just keep growing. Everything's going really great. And um, we appreciate it. You know, I appreciate it. And uh, definitely... I want to say thanks to all the new people that are trying it and they're actually, you know, posting their art, posting what they're working on, looking for feedback. You know, that's a big deal. That that we definitely appreciate that. That helps us a lot. And uh, also all the people creating the content, you know, that just helps more people find their home in the Grimdark community. So definitely appreciate that. All right, so let's talk about the Grimdark Challenge for this month. So what we're going to be doing this month is taking a look at the Horse Heresy models. And uh, this is this to celebrate the release of the Horse Heresy set Games Workshop just put out. But uh, it's a pretty simple idea. You just take some 30K models and you make them look as Grimdark as possible. Uh, now, the rules can be found on the website, grimdarkcompendium.com. Everything's pretty cut and dry. It's really easy to enter. Uh, the only questions that have really come up is which models you can use. Now, as a guideline, I had just put that you could use the models from the, the box set the Games Workshop just released. But really, you can just use any 30K models that you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, the only thing that uh, we're not including this month is going to be vehicles. So I know the box set came with a tank. Uh, so we're not we're not going to do any vehicles, just just marines or or whatever else that sort of thing. Um, but I put a poll out to see what you guys want to see me work on, and uh, I was really wanting to get started for now, but I had to wait on models to get here. I had some kit bashing ideas in mind, so you guys told me you wanted to see some night lords. So I'll just give you a little sn sneak peek as to where my head is at on that project. Um, like I was saying, I just got these models in here, so. Uh, when I start on project, I usually think about kit bashing first. Always go through like a small little design phase for each little project, especially if I'm going to make it like a tutorial series or a course out of it. Um, always go through like a small little de uh, design phase. So that's where I, that's where I'm at right now. Like I said, I just got these models in. So this is the Corpse Grinder Colt. Now there's some interesting bits in here. I'm going to be using uh, prim primarily probably some of the mask. And there are also some cool armor pieces that I might get out of here as well. Um, so that's where I'm at. And then, of course, I just have the uh, the new uh, tactical squad there. And so we're going to do some Night Lords. So, uh, like I said, we're going to make a course out of that. And, um, 
you know, I haven't really sat down with it yet. I'll, you know, I'll probably do that today. Uh, at least start building some miniatures to take some footage of that. Um, and But I'll always go through that little des design phase. So what I'm going to do first, the first thing I'm going to do before I even open this box of models here is I'm going to go on online and I'm going to start going through images of Night Lords and, uh, uh, so, you know, just anything I can use to put together like a mood board or a concept board. So that's one of the first things that I always do when I'm sitting down uh, with a new project or if I'm going to paint something I've never painted before. You know, uh, I like to have a recipe designed. Like if I'm going to paint, I'll probably only paint one Night Lord uh, just for this challenge, but you know, I still like to have the recipe and I like to uh, kind of design a recipe and just have it. So if I ever paint more of these, you know, I can just refer back to that information. And that usually starts off with that mood board. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just go through the internet and find as many cool images as I can find that I that will inspire me while working on this project. And I'll put those boards together and I'll really use that even during the build. So when I'm kit bashing and stuff like that, I'll even try to incorporate some of that mood board into the build as well. And then of course, uh, after I get the model built, um, I get the basing and the environment situated. Uh, I'll go in and start doing paint recipes and stuff like that. And I always do those in like little practice blanks and just little pieces of test material that I can just uh, kind of work quickly on and kind of, you know, go through uh, several different variations of a recipe until I find what, I, what I'm really looking for. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, that's, I'm going to make a course on all this. And that's really the first thing I'm going to... Uh, be working on is those concepts and stuff like that but all that will be in the course I'll show you exactly how I do it but you know pretty simple idea we're just gonna go find some inspiration step one and then we're gonna start building miniature and designing color palettes to talk about some of the other things that I'm working on uh, last month I did mention that I would start a Tyranids course I kind of got started on that and then the horse heresy stuff came out uh, so I got a little bit distracted by that so like I said we're gonna do a Night Lords course first and then we'll we'll do some work on the Tyranids now I did go through a little bit of a design phase there and and started gathering uh, I think I put one or two little mood boards together to kind of look at different uh, flesh variation variations and and that sort of thing so uh, we'll, we'll we'll do a lot of work on the Tyranids course uh, that one's gonna be a little bit tricky because I, I don't want to give just like a straight-up uh, like here's one uh, color recipe for X high fleet so um, what the way I want to approach that course is is to more teach you how to come up with your own designs for high fleets or any kind of custom uh, looking design you want to do. Uh, really Tyranids is just like the ultimate open palette uh, for me when it comes to painting Warhammer. Uh, you can really do anything uh, with Tyranids and just have a lot of fun with them. So th that's going to be a pretty pretty deep course of, and focus a lot more on design and so I can teach you how to come up with like really cool shell patterns and and uh, skin recipes and, and that sort of thing. So uh, be looking forward to that, but that uh, that's definitely going to be after uh, the Night Lords. And then after I get done with Tyranids, perhaps I want to go back to the Scale Hammer stuff I was working on a couple months ago. So uh, Scale Hammer is uh, it's pretty much just kit bashing scale models with Warhammer models. Uh, and right now I've only really scratched the surface, so I've done some tanks. Uh, those are probably the two most compatible kits that Warhammer has with scale models are the vehicles. So uh, I've done a couple tanks and also kind of kit bash together like a, a walker. Also use some Gun Gundam kits and that. And uh, just kind of messing around with scale models and Warhammer stuff. So uh, I mentioned before uh, that I was uh, feeling a little bit of burnout from just putting together Marines and painting Marines and you know, uh, and that was pretty much it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I, I really want to go back and, and mess around with the scale hammer stuff some more 
and just see how much deeper I can get into that. I think it's really cool. The two, the two tanks that I built are really cool, and then that walker, you know, that was my really my first attempt at it. I do like it, but you know, I think there's a lot of room for improvement there. So I, I definitely want to keep messing around with this idea scale hammer and just see how far we can take it and see if it's something we can make popular and, and, and kind of start incorporating into the, the grimdark style. Um, the whole reason I'm really exploring it is just due to the way of, of how games workshops tanks, just the way that they look. You know, I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the, of the way a lot of their tanks are, are modeled. Uh, and uh, I'm a big fan of the open track on tanks. So I think the open track just has a certain aesthetic to it. And I think it somehow naturally lends itself to a more grim and dark style. I'm not sure why, but you know, I really can't explain that idea uh, why I feel that way. But it's just, I don't know, I just like that open track a lot more. And I think it's much more... Uh, I, I think it looks cool, you know, so um, that's really the uh, big reason I got into it, but I think I, I do want to go back to it and just kind of see what I can do. I already have some videos explaining the builds um, on the two tanks that I've already built, uh, so the, the builds for those are there, and then I started to paint one, and I uh, got pretty much just the base color down and did some chipping and weathering, and so um, that video is there as well. But I really want to delve a lot deeper into that and develop a really comprehensive course on the idea and uh, how to really get into it. But for me to do that, it's going to take a lot more time for me to kind of get into it myself and uh, learn a lot more about how it works. So one of the last things that I wanted to talk about was... Uh, uh, what's been going on with the website so if you watched my last video you know that I had some issue with a web developer that kind of messed up the site a lot uh, currently where we're at with fixing all that is uh, it's it's coming along pretty good but we're basically having to rebuild the site again uh, just because of the when the web developer came in that messed the site up he installed like a new theme and that new theme pretty much got rid of all of our hard code, uh, most of it. So, um, so it's just a slow rebuilding process. Um, so it's just going to take a little bit of time. We do have a lot of the courses up, and um, you know, just working on uh, one part at a time right now, just making sure everything's working good. Uh, but I did want to say that I, I appreciate all the support in the last video. Uh, a lot of people reached out to me. Uh, send me some messages definitely appreciate it um, but yeah we're just gonna build it back and we're just trying to make it better uh, of course and and get everything fixed and, and running really good so um, I appreciate you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one